firstly, we've got to be a bit careful. The second reason is that melatonin is a bioactive hormone and it's also involved in reproductive development. And there were studies done back in the 1970s, I think, where they were looking at juvenile male rats, which is to say male rats who were going through adolescence. And they were dosing them with high amounts of melatonin. And what they found is that that stunted the development of the testes, of the testicles, and it caused testicular atrophy. Now, these were very high doses, but we've got to be a little bit careful. We think, we say, well, melatonin is a natural hormone, so anything natural is safe. Melatonin overall, in terms of its safety profile, is very safe. It's actually a very good antioxidant. But you've got to be careful because things like, for example, testosterone supplementation in males, what we know is that if you're injecting testosterone, after a while, after maybe 18 months or so, the testicles themselves will stop producing their own testosterone. And even if you stop the administration of the exogenous testosterone, the injection, the testes never return their function of producing testosterone.